Hi everyone, welcome back to Swiss Home Garden. Chitra here. In this video, we will be doing a DIY hack on our works lawn mover robot. Our works lawn mower was often getting stuck up all over in our garden and in the front yard. So my husband came up with this hack that would help it to work optimally and move around smoothly. These were some of the spots where it had the weakest point and it used to get stuck over there and it damaged the lawn and kept rotating in the same place again and again and it was digging into the soil. This is our second machine. The previous one was giving some problems but we could replace it for an upgraded version last year. This is a better version. This is much more stronger and can cover a huge surface area. Our garden is not that huge. We have a lot of slopey bits. What we decided to do was fix a screw on every fourth spike in this wheel and this will give it the grip that it needs to move easily back and forth. So first we will do on every fourth spike and see how it works. And if this is working, then he will maybe do it on every alternate spike of this wheel. Of course, this would mean that we are going to be damaging this wheel. But I think that is the cheaper option. First, he will fix on every fourth spike. After that, he will have to also cut out the screw heads. This Landroid robot costed a little more than 1500 Swiss francs. The previous model we had was a little bit cheaper, but there were a lot of problems after the second year of using. This is also mainly because our garden has a lot of slopey bits and at one point the electronic gave away and last year due to all the lockdowns and service problems we couldn't get it fixed on guarantee. These have a guarantee of five years. So we could get an upgrade for a little bit extra. What usually happened was whenever it was raining, the grass was very slippery and so the robot used to get stuck in a lot of places and it was damaging our lawn. And also it often went on a slope and got stuck there till we had to go physically lift it up and charge it and the battery went down when it was stuck for maybe an hour or so. Right now, we haven't experienced this. After doing this hack, it's working very well. It doesn't get stuck in the slope. It's able to move back and forth easily. We found out that after the first attempt, it was working, but it was still not optimal. Then he fixed a screw after every second spike. And right now, it is working fantastically. We also noticed that if we didn't take out the screw head, it was damaging the wire. Because when you're going to be fixing a lawn mower robot, you'll have to guide it. You'll have to fix in wires exactly where it can go and where it can't go.
after such a long struggle we are very happy to see that this hack has been a successful one the robot hasn't got stuck as before it was especially very uh, cumbersome every time to lift it up when it was stuck in one corner and we have also a very slopey garden and front yard so it used to get stuck halfway strangely it never fell off Now we will have to cut out the screw heads otherwise it will start to hit on the other side of the robot and it will block its movement. Moreover since the height of the wheel has increased you will also have to change the distance between the blades that is the height of the blade so that it can cut the grass easily. That is what he is doing there he is adjusting the height of the blade. I hope this video was useful to you and you could get some idea on how to fix your works lawn mower in case you have a similar problem like ours. Thank you for watching. If you are new to my channel kindly subscribe. I post one new video every week on food from scratch, Swiss country living, gardening and natural recipes. See you in my next video. Bye bye.